Rosavastatin belongs to the category of HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors. It is one of the statins, just like other medications such as atorvastatin and simvastatin. This medication is used to lower the cholesterol levels in the body. Elevated levels of cholesterol produce cardiovascular complications by blocking the arteries. Rosavastatin can decrease the cholesterol levels, therefore improving the symptoms of cardiovascular complications. It is available as oral tablets and capsules, and it is well known by its brand name, Crestor. This medication can be used in the treatment of hyperlipidemia, where elevated levels of LDL cholesterol are common and increase the risk of atherosclerosis. This results in blocking of your arteries, reducing blood supply. It can also be used for slowing the progression of atherosclerosis. Rosavastatin can be used for prevention in people in high-risk groups. If you have diabetes or a family history of cardiovascular disease, a statin should be used to control the cholesterol levels. In such conditions, rosavastatin can be the right option due to its high potency. It is indicated to reduce the risk of major adverse cardiovascular events like non-fatal myocardial infarction and stroke. A few risk factors for cardiovascular events, like age above 50 years and elevated highly sensitive C-reactive protein above 2 mg per liter, the presence of high blood pressure, low HDL values, a family history of heart disease or smoking, can increase the risk of cardiovascular complications. In such conditions, rosavastatin can be used for primary prevention. This medication can also lower triglyceride levels and increase the HDL levels. That's why it can also be used in the treatment of mixed dyslipidemia. Rosavastatin has few advantages. Rosavastatin is a potent LDL-lowering medication. It can be frequently used in people with excessively elevated LDL levels. It is preferred in people who need high-intensity statin therapy. Rosavastatin has a better safety profile and shows mild side effects compared with other statins. Therefore, in people who are unable to tolerate the side effects of other statins, it can be used. This medication shows fewer drug interactions compared with atorvastatin. Therefore, it is preferred by the people who take multiple medications and where atorvastatin shows significant drug interactions. However, the renal and hepatic function should be closely monitored with the use of rosavastatin because it is a potent LDL-lowering medication. How to take this medication? Because of its high potency, this medication should be taken only once daily. It can be taken either with or without food. But it is always preferred that this medication should be taken at the same time each day to maintain smooth levels in your body. The dose depends on the patient's age and risk factors and other medications given to you. For moderate LDL reduction, it can be started at a dose of 5 to 10 milligrams once daily. However, whenever high LDL reduction is required, a high-intensity therapy of rosavastatin is recommended. In such conditions, a 20 to 40 milligrams dose can be given once daily. If you are aged above 65 years, you should start rosavastatin at a low dose. A high risk of myopathy is associated with the use of this medication at higher doses initially. Therefore, you should start it at a low dose. Typically, it is started at 5 mg per day. Rosavastatin is metabolized to some extent in the liver. If you have severe hepatic impairment, this medication should be avoided. Rosavastatin is available as a tablet at different strengths, from 5 mg to 40 mg. It is also available as a capsule under the brand name Ezeler Sprinkle. For treating the elevated levels of cholesterol, it can be used along with diet control. It can be started at 10 to 20 mg per day, based on the risk factors. However, the maximum dose should not be increased above 40 mg per day. The lipid levels should be monitored after two to four weeks of the treatment, and the dose may be properly adjusted. Cyclosporin increases the levels of rosavastatin. Therefore, when it is co-administered with cyclosporin, rosavastatin should not exceed 5 mg per day. How does it work? Rosavastatin is a lipid-lowering medication. That means it helps reduce high lipid levels in your body. Among them, elevated levels of LDL cholesterol in the blood pose a high risk for heart disease. Rosavastatin helps in reducing LDL levels. This action is mediated by reducing cholesterol synthesis in the liver. Cholesterol can be synthesized through a substance called mevalinate. This pathway is highly controlled by one of the enzymes called HMG-CoA reductase. This enzyme converts HMG-CoA to mevalinate, which is then converted into cholesterol by several steps in the liver. However, 
Conversion into mevalinate is the key step in the synthesis. It is called the rate-limiting step that controls the extent to which cholesterol is synthesized in your liver. Rosavastatin shows a competitive inhibition on the enzyme HMG-CoA reductase. This blocking activity results in the prevention of cholesterol synthesis in the liver. Your liver will try to take the cholesterol from the blood, as it is not synthesizing the cholesterol. It expresses LDL receptors on its surface, through which LDL is taken from the blood. This reduces the levels of LDL cholesterol in the blood, which reduces the risk of the formation of plaques in your arteries. This reduces the risk of cardiovascular complications. Effect on your memory. Rosavastatin can produce some cognitive adverse effects. These are more troublesome in the elders. That's why in the elderly, rosavastatin should be used at a low dose. However, these are non-serious and reversible. They can be restored on stopping the doses. Rosavastatin can increase your glucose levels. It can also increase the HbA1c levels. Therefore, while taking rosavastatin, the blood glucose level should be closely monitored. Liver impairment. In people with a history of liver disease, rosavastatin should be used carefully. Never take large amounts of alcohol while you're taking rosavastatin, as it affects your liver functionality. In case of any serious hepatic disease, you should discontinue this therapy. If you observe jaundice or elevated bilirubin levels, you should discontinue this medication. Generally, statins can increase the liver enzymes like AST and ALT. This is common with the HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors. Rosavastatin can also elevate these enzymes, but to a lesser extent compared with other statins. However, in case of significant elevation, you should discontinue this medication. Effect on muscle. Myopathy is a condition of muscle dysfunction. It affects your skeletal muscle and results in a few symptoms like muscle pain and tenderness. You may have muscle weakness and muscle spasms. Your muscles are easily fatigued. This is due to damage to your muscles. Even though the severity is less compared with other statins, rosavastatin can induce myopathy. This muscle damage results in elevated levels of creatine kinase. With the use of rosavastatin, your creatine kinase levels may be elevated. Myopathy can be observed at any dose of rosavastatin. The risk of myopathy can be increased in people with coexisting risk factors. In people with acute renal failure, rosavastatin may increase the risk of myopathy. Even though it may be observed at normal doses, myopathy is more pronounced at the highest dose, such as 40 mg. Elders with ages above 65 years also pose more risk. In people with hypothyroidism, the risk of myopathy is elevated. Therefore, hypothyroidism should be properly treated. If it is not properly treated, it may increase the risk of myopathy. In renal impairment, Rosavastatin is not properly eliminated from the body, leading to its accumulation. This increases the risk of myopathy. Therefore, in people with significant renal dysfunction, the dose of this medication should be reduced. If you observe the elevated levels of creatinine kinase or myopathy is suspected, this drug may be discontinued. Rarely, rosavastatin can cause another serious condition, rhabdomyolysis. It results in the breakdown of the muscle tissue and release of contents into the bloodstream, leading to muscle weakness, muscle stiffness, and pain. You may notice dark-colored urine and decreased urine output. However, at a low dose, you may not have this condition. It is always better to monitor such symptoms. In case you observe these symptoms, immediately discontinue its use. Renal function. In a few people, even though the kidney functionality is normal, blood in the urine can be observed. This condition is called hematuria. It can also cause proteinuria, excretion of protein in the urine. However, these effects are transient. In case of persistent symptoms, the dose of rosavastatin should be reduced. In mild to moderate renal impairment, no dosage adjustment is required. But in case of severe renal impairment where the creatinine clearance levels are less than 30 milliliters per minute, the dose is decreased to 5 milligrams per day. In such people, you should not exceed a total daily dose of 10 milligrams. Side effects. It mainly produces a few common side effects like headache, muscle pains, weakness, and nausea. You may have abdominal pain and constipation. It can also produce dizziness and flu-like symptoms. Even though less common, it can increase the liver enzymes. These are the key facts that you should know before taking rosavastatin. That's all, guys.
Thanks for watching this video. And if you find any interesting facts on this medication, please share them in the comment box below. Please do subscribe and hit the like button. I will come with another interesting video in the next week. Until then, have a nice time, take care, and goodbye.